today's newest watch, an electronic marble that hums as it works. Today's watch factory is full of drilling machines that work with great precision, punching and drilling holes as fine as a thousandth of an inch. Then pinion gears or tiny jeweled bearings will be set in the holes. These machines are much more exact than handwork can possibly be. In addition, they never tire or go to the water cooler and never ask the boss for a raise. These are bridge plates in which pinion gears will be set. The plate is the foundation holding spinning gears as the earth underfoot holds a spinning top. Here are pinion leaf cutters, really no more than the tiniest lathes producing gears, some barely visible to the naked eye. Although watchmakers are men traditionally, women do most of the work here. The well-known reason is that they are more dexterous in handling tiny things. The smallest gears are floated in an oil bath down the assembly line. That ensures no loss on a mechanical conveyor belt. Oil is also used as a lubricant in the grinding process. These are pinion gears, the axes around which the world of gears turns in its watch case. Here on the left, you see them greatly magnified. The assembler is a trained and talented person. Intricately machined parts are mounted on the bridge plate, then synthetic jewels are put into at least 17 points of greatest wear. The finest watches run on the greatest number of jeweled bearings. Here you see that women are the assemblers used because of their ability to perform delicate hand tasks. Now they are time tested against a clock run on United States Naval Observatory time. Watches must be dunked to make sure they're waterproof. I don't think you should take them swimming at the beach, but some people are absent-minded. The large clock works on Naval Observatory time, controlled by a beep from Washington. Here, a special device tests the tuning forks, which are the vibrating hearts of electronic watches. This machine, like a radar scope, counts the exact pulses of the tiny tuning forks, 360 cycles per second. Run by a battery no larger than a shirt collar button, these watches represent man's progress from sundials and water clocks to the newest electronic marvel. Clocks with the ticking hearts we knew so well are giving way to the humming watches of future generations. <laughs>